All right, let's do some more solutions. How many milliliters of a 2.0 molar HCl solution, remember that's molar, like your tooth, is required to react with 3.0 grams of aluminum? Now right away, that little red flag goes up and says, there's a key word in here that tells me I need something that's not provided. React. I know, I'm going to need a balanced equation it says HCl is reacting with aluminum. Now we've done this a million times. We know that aluminum will react with hydrochloric acid to form aluminum chloride. Remember aluminum forms a plus three ion and chloride ion is minus one so it's AlCl3 plus hydrogen gas and hydrogen is one of those diatomic elements that in its elemental state is H2. So then we need to go balance this thing up and I see threes and twos I start thinking six that's two there two there six here three there all right so now we have our balanced equation took care of the react business so what are the units of our answer how many milliliters of remember we're always looking for things like how many calculate that sort of thing how many milliliters of a two molar HCl solution so I know that the units of my answer are milliliters of HCl solution. Remember, SOL apostrophe N is a reasonable uh, abbreviation for solution. So where are we going to start? Well, we have two possible places, 3 grams of aluminum and 2.0 molar. Well, if we use our rule of, th rule of thumb, this is not something per something. So it's not like uh, something per something. It's not that. So we're not going to start with something per something. Well, also keep in mind that this 2.0 molar, remember, that's 2.0 moles of HCl per 1 liter of solution. That's what that means. So we're not going to start with that. So the only thing we can start with then is 3 grams of aluminum. So let's go ahead and start with 3 grams of aluminum. Well, the only way I'm going to get from aluminum to HCl is with a mole-to-mole -mole ratio. Got to have it. So my first job is to figure out how many moles of aluminum. Well, I need the molar mass of aluminum. Where am I going to find it? My handy-dandy periodic table. Aluminum, 26.982 grams. I'm going to call it 27.0. 27.0. Twenty-seven point zero grams of aluminum. I need that on the bottom. Is one mole of aluminum. Now I got into moles. If I cancel my grams of aluminum, now I'm ready for my mole-to-mole -mole ratio between aluminum and HCl. So I know. Remember, I need moles of aluminum down here. So for every two moles of aluminum. I react with 6 moles of HCl. Boom, moles of aluminum cancel. We're out of aluminum into HCl. Now we're in business. But check this out. I need to get from moles of HCl to milliliters of HCl. Well, I have my molarity. 2.0 moles per liter of solution. So I can go ahead. There's a couple ways I can do this. I can convert it all in one shot or I can add two steps. Well, remember, this is 2.0 moles per liter of solution. How many milliliters are in a liter? A thousand. So I can also write this as 2.0 moles of HCl per thousand milliliters of HCl. Well, let's do that so I can just finish in one step. I, moles have to go on the bottom. Down here, how many? Oh, 2.0 moles of HCl are in 1,000 milliliters of HCl solution. Moles HCl cancel. And I'm ready to plug and chug. Milliliters of HCl, milliliters of HCl. And so let's go ahead and plug away. Let's see. Let's put it right here. 3.0 times 6, oops, I hit in 5, 
3.0 times 6 times 1,000 divided by 27.0 divided by 2 divided by 2.0 equals See, can you see that? One six six point six six seven. Okay, so how many sig figs can we keep? Two. So I can't. I have to use scientific notation. So remember that one six six point six six seven is going to become one point seven times ten to the second. So I'm going to move that thing over once, twice. 1.66, well that second 6 makes the 6 a 7. 1.7 times 10 to the second milliliters of HCl solution. Do, 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 do. So about 170 milliliters of HCl are required to react of this concentration with 3 grams of aluminum.